The big news this week is that Reign's EX job is coming and he's going to be once again the best magic tank in the game. And I love Reign, I love FFBE, I'm playing a ton of FFBE right now. So I've decided that I am going to put uh, an FFBE background from all the battles that you do in every single slide and I've even got a couple of sprites here too. Now you might notice that there is a vision card on screen and that is the Encounter of Heroes card. It is the vision card that FFBE players got during the Universe collab event. We got the Fina uh, and the Mashery card, and then they got this Rain and Mons card. And I was so jealous at the time because the art is so good, but of course Gumi was planning on giving it to us too. So we're gonna get this card and it's gonna have some buffs for Rain. So we'll talk about all of this information and help you decide on what you should do with your account. Thank you to WarOfTheVisionsCalc.com. Go and support them on Patreon. I do, and I'll see you there. Okay, so items for EX jobs, pretty straightforward. What we need here, the blossoms are the hard part. Uh, I'm finding that out myself. I want to take uh, the new Silma MR to EX jobs if I can. I want to do Rain here. Uh, I would love to do Ayaka when she comes out. Uh, and then I was thinking of doing like Frederica and Ramada, and then I want to for Luel. Uh, and then I took a look at all of my resources and I realized, yeah, no, Masidia, you're not doing that. So I have to be a little more, um, you know, careful with these blossoms. I think that, well, we'll talk about rain in a second here. I think I will be going for Ayaka since I don't have Yuna, uh, but I'm going to have to make some concessions somewhere. So Rain, what does he get? Well, let's take a look at level 99. He was a very, very good magic tank. His actual magic stat was low, so he wasn't always the best attacker, but because people were weak to magic uh, for a long time, he was pretty good, uh, although he did fall off at this point. His agility hasn't been the best, but his hallmark is his huge HP, huge spirit, and then he's got good magic resist if he needs it. One thing you should know about Rain if you don't have him, he has a hard time getting AP, so if you are going to use him as a DP, DPS, then bells are definitely recommended. Now because of that, uh, you, you have to think about is he somebody that can I can really run on my team considering that so many people pulled for King Mont and that's going to be like your main tank for a lot of the uh, time. Uh, they can go in the same team but then you might have rain on sub uh, red mage and then you have to worry about generating AP uh, otherwise he's just going to be whacking people with his sword. So uh, then we can go to 120 and see how he improves. Something seems a bit different, I'm not sure what it is, but you can see that he gets a huge boost to his HP, he gets a nice big boost to his magic, uh, and then he will also get a little bit of agility as well. We'll take a closer look at the stats in just a second here, but first let's take a look at these amazing EX abilities. At job level 19 he's going to get Fire Aga upgraded so that it is an instant cast. Uh, I don't know how many people talk about whether or not they should turn off Fire Aga because he starts casting it and then isn't able to finish it in time or misses people uh, that move out of the way. So this is already a huge buff. Not only does it become instant cast, it will now have a 25% chance to inflict slow for three turns. Uh, I've talked about this before, but slow is one of the most uh, impactful status effects in the game. This is absolutely huge, uh, and I'm definitely super excited for it. Then at job level 22, he's going to get spirit up level one buffed, and it's going to give 15 AoE resistance. And 15 AoE resist is really strong. There's so much AoE right now uh, in the game. Uh, this is definitely good. But a really cool thing about AoE uh, resist on a tank is that when they have it, um, the people that will try to attack the tank will try to do as mu much damage as possible. This means that if they could do more damage with a single target attack, they will. Now that will protect your units that are coming up with your tank because an AoE would hit the tank and your other units and maybe kill your other units. But if they're only using single target attacks on your tank that's sparing the rest of your party so that's an added buff when you get aoe resistance on a tank and then he gets a new skill called Am ami assist blaze uh, i probably butchered that one uh, it's a 28 ap 175 mod uh, slash type damage which is very important and it decreases move by one for three turns uh, and you can see the range there uh, it's going to be able to range uh, reach five away which is uh, definitely good 
So this skill is very big. Um, and the reason is, is that like, one, it's an AOE, just like Fire Aga, but two, it's a different damage type than Fire Aga. It's slash type. So this is going to make a big difference uh, when you need to fight different types of parties and he can still do some decent damage, um, possibly as a DPS. Um, when they're going to be magic resistant to uh, fire Aga. And then he's going to get more HP if you take him to EX drops. So we'll do our typical stat comparison here. You can see level 99, 115, and 120 on the screen. And this difference column tells us the difference between 115 and 120. The biggest thing you have to talk about here is that he gets almost 700 HP if you take him to 120. That's actually a pretty big deal. His magic only goes up by 36, uh, and that's actually uh, not that big a deal, especially because he's a tank uh, overall and not a DPS. His agility doesn't go up. So really, if you don't love the job 25 skill and you're okay with losing out in that HP, you can save some Vizior or just long term build him in the barracks with hard quests and you could go to 115, you are going to have a wonderfully usable magic tank for all of the many, many, many magic attackers that are about to come out in this game uh, and you'll be just fine. And if you want to go to 120 and get that awesome attack to make him a little more well-rounded and also get that extra 700 HP, then yeah, that's totally going to be uh, good to go. That's what I'm going to do personally. Uh, but I think you're very much safe going to 115 here. Many of you are into rain because you love FFBE and if you love FFBE then you also like Charlotte and she's coming out in the distant future and is also a magic tank. Now Charlotte also gets ways to raise her defense I think. Uh, she also gets some kind of other damage mitigation if it's a barrier or AoE or single target resist. I'm not super familiar. I think she gets protect shell from her LB uh, but basically she could tank multiple types of damage but magic Magic is her primary way to tank, uh, and she compares pretty nice uh, terrain. She gets a little less HP, but she's going to get way more agility, uh, and her resists are not going to be quite as strong against magic, but she gets a super high spirit stat as well. Uh, and she's going to get some team stuff that, that she can use. Uh, she's going to be definitely usable as a magic tank. Uh, and if you want to go for Charlotte, then you might consider skipping out on rain. We're also going to get the wall EX at some point, and he can tank magic because he has that spellblade sub job. Now he's not going to be uh, quite as magic tanky as rain is, but he's going to be more versatile in that he can also tank that physical damage very well. Uh, and as spell blade when you get the ma magic resist skill you it's such a huge buff it's 38 percent magic resist to your team uh, that's pretty significant and he also gets damage reduction barriers so wall is going to be uh, you know a really good choice for a magic tank and a physical tank we can also look in the future and say that at some point winter venera is going to get a um upgrade and even if she doesn't she's still a really good magic tank again because she gets magic barrier because she gets magic resist she's able to take pretty high levels of uh, magic damage uh, without even flinching and when she goes to 120 uh, she's actually going to grow in her pugilist job not in any of her other jobs so she's going to become more offensive uh, but then she'll get that HP boost and uh, you know she's still going to have all that magic resist goodness that she has uh, and she's also via as a magic tank. Now Rain is going to be your absolute you know, best magic tank, but there's going to be uh, all of these other options so you can feel good if you want to go in another direction. So should you EX Rain? Well, uh, he is a terrific unit. Like honestly, in PvE, in PvP, all facets of the game in tower on raids, uh, during guild battles, during live PvP, uh, although that's probably his weakest area, but still like pretty good in that, I think, uh, personally. Uh, he can just do so much. He's got jamming thrust. Uh, I just, I think that he's a safe build for pretty much anybody that wants to build him. The slow upgrade for Fire Aga is so insane. Uh, and that's where all the casting time went, right? So he had the casting time, it became instant cast. All that slowness, it went into the slow status effect. Um, so and I also think there's a lot of magic units on the way so I showed you all the solutions you could have for magic tank and there's more that are out there uh, but you have to make probably a decision for the meta to stock up on at least one magic tank. The cons here is that there's just so much to save up for right now and uh, if you want to use him with King Mont and you're going to use him more offensively, he does have low magic for an EX. So that is going to be kind of a bummer to have both of them uh, if they're not able to, you know, uh, uh, 
deal enough damage. So you're going to have to build specifically around that. You do get fire master abilities to help you out. Uh, his agility is low. His, you know, he, you saw his slash resist is zero. So Titus is going to wreck him and run circles around him. Um, and we do have a, other magic tanks coming. So lots of decisions to make here. At the end of the day, uh, he is a safe unit to build. So we're also going to get this Encounter of Heroes card, uh, and it's going to be, you know, a big question mark for a lot of people until tomorrow when we see all of the stats and values that it's going to bring. And some of you might be saying, why not make this video tomorrow? Well, uh, I kind of want to make a pull video tomorrow, and I also want to do some CM stuff. So I want to get this out early, and then you can make your decision when you see the stats. So we're wondering if it's going to have just magic or if it's going to have that even spread of some magic and some attack. And the reason you might think that it would be all magic is because it does have a bestowed ability for rain but then the reason it might be an even spread is that it has bestowed abilities for Mont and King Mont. So bestowed ability for all fire units will be strike resist up. This is a pretty big deal because King Mont uh, and rain have really bad strike weaknesses. Uh, regular Mont has good strike resist so if you put this on him he could be a strike tank specifically if you wanted to counter them uh, but this is a good bestowed ability and we're expecting it to be about 10 percent based on previous uh, bestowed resists that we've seen. We also get a bestowed ability for Rain Want and King Want and it's max HP up and accuracy up and this is a solid ability for tanks. They have high base HPs so this is going to do go a long way with them and the accuracy is very good as well. One of the matchups that's kind of tough for Fire right now is against the 2B matchup and she's pretty of 80 so to get that accuracy it's pretty good. The party abilities for Fire units only and it's magic up and accuracy up and this is tricky because there's barely any usable uh, top level uh, fire magic units right now so rain would be one this would be a huge way uh, like I said he has magic uh, low magic problems this would solve that problem where he could be a little more uh, DPS oriented so King Mont could be a tank and uh, the accuracy up again is just very useful for the current meta but at the same time because there's so few magic users for fire then they're you know the rest of your party's probably not going to take advantage of that part of the party ability and that's making it really hard for me to to recommend this card the a lot of people are saying oh we're going to get summer kison which is a fire uh, kurodama wielder uh, seasonal unit we're also going to see the glaciella uh, jp uh, fan vote unit which is a fire magic user now we just don't know when those are going to come. I'm pretty sure that Summer Catone is going to come this summer with an EX job, and that's going to be great. I actually don't think we're going to get Glaciella, but I'm happy to be wrong about that. So without seeing too many fire units in the immediate future uh, that are magic oriented, this is kind of difficult for me. Now it does have a really good level 99 buff, which is increased slash resist for fire allies, and slash is all over the place right now. So this is pretty huge, and right when I saw this, it completely swung my opinion of the card. This is almost good enough to just completely say get the card uh, but there are other options so we're gonna oh my gosh i forgot to put highlights on this slide look at this go 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 okay so we'll look at some comparisons here. Uh, we just got Phoenix last week. It increases magic resist and uh, dex. This is a vital card for mono fire parties because the uh, maps are about to come out or have magic attack up. Then there's the King Mont card and this also gives you HP and debuff uh, resist. This is the easiest party ability to sacrifice in my eyes, but the bestowed ability is way better for King Mont uh, than it the one that is on the uh, Encounter of Heroes card. Um, and it also gives you some defense and stuff so I mean there's there's a uh, wiggle room here uh, and then we also have Ifrit which I just think is an automatic include on most fire teams because there's so many physical attackers and we even have something like Lamia Queen and this is actually really cool because this gives you 15 strike resist which is for everybody so it would give it to King Mont and to Rain and it gives you fire attack 20% up. This will work for all of Rain's slashing attacks, all of his magic attacks but it's also going to work for Raldor and Elda and King Mont and whoever else. So this is actually a really good option if you're really struggling with strike attack you could just go for this. Then again, you could also go for the new Encounter of Heroes card and stack it with Seductive Serpent Lamia Queen and get 25% uh, strike resist for your tank, which is pretty significant. 
Now I'd like to provide you with an option of not getting Encounter of Heroes. If you're really worried about Slash Attack, you could give Horn's First Division to Rain instead. This is going to give you 20% Slash Resist for your entire party, but it's also going to give a ton of magic stat to Rain, and it's also going to give a bestowed magic attack plus 10% for Rain. Now this is going to help his Fire Aga and his Jamming Thrust, but it's not going to help Soul Prominence and it's not going to help his new Slashing Attack. So it will help in, in some ways, uh, and it is a viable option to save money and then just go for this Solidus card instead. And then I'm going to quickly mention my predictions for this card because I think it's pretty safe to say uh, that, you know, stats are going to shake out this way. So uh, the first possibility is that we get this kind of even distributed, you know, like 90 and 90 uh, attack and magic stat. But what I really think is definitely like for sure gonna, we're going to get is the 10% slash resist or strike resist. Sorry, the, the magic up 35%, accuracy up 13 and slash resist 20. That's pretty standard with all the other stats we've seen from the uh, different vision cards that are similar from the level 99 abilities on vision cards. That's all pretty straightforward. Now, the other possibility is that we get something that is like zero attack and something like magic 180. Uh, and I could definitely see this happening as well. This is, you know, not as great because then you can't put this card on any of your physical, uh, you know, fire use. I mean, you can put it on them if you really need to. Like, there's reasons to do that, but it's not the best thing in the world. I actually can see this card possibly getting even higher HP uh, just because it's going to go on all these different tanks. Uh, so the tanks would really love to have that increased HP as well. So should you build this card? Should you pull for encounters of heroes? Well, uh, I think that it's it's a really good buff for, for Rain and King Wan. I think the accuracy helps you solve that 2B matchup. And then the slash resist is a huge, huge uh, resist that just can't be ignored. Uh, but the problem is, is that there's, there's just not that many uh, UR fire magic units. Um, and I just think that there's a lot of tough competition uh, in PvP because you can only equip three VCs. And at a certain point, you know, it's just so hard to make these decisions decisions uh, that if you need to skip this and then go and, and build something else uh, then you know I think maybe you need to do that uh, but I can't make a, an official verdict yet because I just need to go see the stats tomorrow like if they're just absolutely bonkers then I'm probably gonna pull this card uh, but if they're not that impressive then I will probably skip it and just build rain anyway uh, JP does not have this card and their rain is doing just fine uh, so what's coming up next in the world of EX jobs? Well, we should hopefully be getting the Ayaka, Frederica, and Murmur EX wave, uh, followed by the Mashery, Ramada, and Mish wave. But honestly, who knows what the heck is going to happen because everything has been thrown out with rain coming up this week. Uh, everything's a mystery. Uh, the universe doesn't make sense, and we're all going to eventually pass on. So uh, sorry to end on such a bummer, but you know, EX jobs, who can predict them. Uh, I'll see you all on Discord in the comments below and in the next video. So thanks for watching and see you next time.